<laughs> Welcome back. Some sauces that came in the mail. These were actually recommended. Well, they weren't recommended. Um, someone posted a uh, picture of someone trying one of these onto my Facebook page. So I figured I'd go ahead and give them a try because just be mainly because of the reaction to that sauce right there. These are Elijah's Extreme. These are from Elijah's Extreme. It's a father and son handcrafted gourmet sauces. Um, it's a really neat little story they have going on. I am going to link them in the description below. Um, it's Elijah's Extreme dot com but they uh, they sell all of these all over the place and I mean you can actually look, going on the back of this little uh, little flyer that they uh, kind of give in is gives a little rundown of their story they've won 55 awards and they've only been in business since I believe 2014 yeah June of uh, they officially launched with the ghost pepper sauce in June of 2014 so and it's a father and son team and they've got 55 awards so far. You can actually pick these up at Bass Pro Shops and in Cabela's, um, as well as a whole bunch of other different stores. Um, yeah, 1,100 nationwide and growing. So, but this, this is their world's hottest award-winning hot sauces, the Extreme Trio. And it involves, this has got their ghost pepper sauce, their reaper sauce, and Extreme Regret, which is a screaming hot scorpion and Carolina Reaper sauce. So, let's go ahead and jump into this, right? So, this nice little box came. Opened up. Got a sticker. Another uh, got a thank you card from them for, for purchasing. And uh, a picture of all the different uh, stores that this is held in. You can get it right on Amazon too. That's, all right, that's a nice, nice matte sticker like that. And here's what we've all been waiting for. So we've got their ghost pepper sauce. We've got their reaper sauce. And we've got extreme regret. And extreme regret is the one that everyone's been trying to get me to. Oh. <sighs> These are going to be interesting. So I'm going to go in order, down through, testing these out. So we're going to start off with the ghost pepper. And let's see. So Elijah's Extreme Ghost Pepper Sauce has won numerous awards for its great taste and perfect balance of heat. It's delicious on just about everything, even dessert. We might have to see what this dessert's on. So, but let's go ahead and get get right into this. Oh, that's satisfying. Okay. Boom. All right. Put that right there. That's a good spot for it. Uh, so, I mean, it looks like a thick. Oh no, it's it's. I'm going to say about a medium consistency, but I don't see any major chunks or anything like that in there. I mean, you can kind of see the stuff rolling around, but bust out the old tasting spoon. Maybe. Alright. Ooh, that smells good. I actually got like garlic right off the top of that, but I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and, okay, so in the, we got Naga Jalokia and habanero peppers, water, tomato paste, salt, sugar, glucose, roasted garlic, apple cider vinegar, regular garlic, with acetic and citric acid, onion, soybean oil, carrot, lime, microcrystalline cellulose, xanthan gum, passion fruit, which is citric acids, uh, ascorbic acid, which is an antioxidant. Well, it's gluten-free and vegan as well. And uh, the original hot sauce. Award-winning, great flavor. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. 
I mean, you can get the, you can smell the peppers in there, but um, I get the tomato. You do get some of the tomato. The garlic is just kind of craziness. I wonder what kind of dessert I would put this on. Hmm. Come on now. Ooh, yep, it is definitely a medium consistency. I'm looking forward to this because I need another ghost pepper sauce in my life. And, uh, you know, you really can't go wrong with uh, something that says extreme, spelled with an X instead of an EX. The garlic and the tomato and the onion. This is very savory. This would go perfect on eggs instead of a ketchup. Put this on the hamburger cheeseburger. That would be great. The heat, it's all on the back end of my tongue. It's really nice, nice burn going on with this one. It's up there. It is up there. Um, and this is, they have, uh, on the front of their labels, they have um, flames for their, how, their heat levels. And this is four out of five flames for hot. The Reaper is four out of flames for hot. And, of course, the Extreme doesn't have any flames anymore. It just goes straight for screaming hot. <clears throat> but that, that is really good sauce. That is, that is actually a really good sauce. I like that. So, hmm. Yeah. So let's get right into the Reaper sauce. I love the color on this one. Ooh, this one is very liquidy. Let's give this a good shake and put you down there with the other one. Oh, you can see chunks in this one, but it is very thin. This one is very, very thin, so award-winning savory and sweet hot flavor best tasting most awarded this is also all this is all natural black cherries brown sugar tomato paste cranberry sauce which includes cranberries cane sugar and water carolina reaper peppers kentucky bourbon onion vinegar water vanilla extract and sea salt it's a berry one it's a berry one I have hopes high hopes that this is a good dessert sauce i know it says savory but I want it sweet. I want it more sweet. I want it. 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 Dessert sauce. Ooh. You can get the smell of the bourbon and the um, the brown sugar and the cranberries, actually, believe it or not. I'm hoping that the. get the cherry and the taste, but this is a really loose sauce. I'm looking forward to this. So this is. this is the Reaper sauce. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's got more of a consistency than I was expecting. Ooh, it is loose. There are chunks floating around, but oh yeah, and you can see red chunks, and it's probably the, the cherries and the cranberries, and and of course the the reaper. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this one. Mm hmm. Oh. I instantly got the cherries and the cranberries. The, instantly, the very f moment it went in. Bourbon right afterwards with the sweetness of the brown sugar. This, this sauce will dessert well. And I, I'm going to get another bit of this because this is really good. This would go good on pie, ice cream. I would put this on ice cream all the time. I don't think this sauce is going to last long. Oh, that is good. <clears throat> that is really good. Oh yeah, that's that is that is dessert right there. The heat on this one I actually think that that uh, the the ghost pepper one was a little bit more, a little hotter. 
And it could have been it, mostly probably because of the different type of pepper because it had the habaneros in there. So it's got a different type of burn to it. But with reapers, I expect this to climb. It is more here. The, the burn is, is more here in, in the back of my throat. But excellent sauce. That right there. That makes me extremely happy. Yes. Yes. And now for extreme regret. <laughs> so this one is gluten-free and vegan. It is award-winning flavor, regretfully hot. So this one's gonna hurt. I, I can tell right off the bat because the first two ingredients, Trinidad Scorpion and Carolina Reaper. Then we have water, carrots, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, salt, sugar, garlic, acetic and citric acids, onion, lemon, passion fruit, sugar cane, sugar cane vinegar. I've never heard of sugar cane vinegar. That's interesting. Uh, xanthan gum and ascorbic acid. Oh yeah, made with the world's hottest peppers, Trinidad Scorpion and Carolina Reaper. It's full of flavor and regretfully hot. So far, all of them are gluten-free and vegan. Uh, this one is all natural. Whew. All right. Well, let's break into this bad boy. Oh. This one is going to be a squatcha. So. Wow. <laughs> Extreme regret. How uh, very pepper forward, which I expect when in the ingredients list, the higher it is on the list, the more of it there is. This is nice, smooth sauce. This, this is not as no, no chunks like this one was. Let's. Uh. <laughs> Come on! Oh wow! I mean, it's smooth, but it is thick. Look at it stand up. Wow! Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be like a smooth mash. I'm just glad. You know, one thing I'm glad: no extracts. So all the flavor you're getting off in these is from the ingredients such as the peppers. Not that metallic, tangy taste. All right, well, Elijah's Extreme Regret. Let's do this. Extremely pepper forward. But... And you saw me do my signature little head wiggle, <clears throat> which means that it's a little, little, little bit floral. But I'm waiting for the build. I'm starting to get warm. I'm almost about to start breaking the sweat. You get the tomato paste. You get the garlic, a bit of the onion. So we're gonna do this the way it's seen on some of the Elijah Extreme commercials. We're gonna meal it. We are gonna meal it on a Santiago's burrito. Santiago's breakfast burrito. It is, this is a staple. If you can get them, you gotta be around the Denver area. Mm. Might have had a delivery. <laughs> But let's go ahead and uh, let's do this the uh, the extreme way. Mm, yeah. So yeah, there we go. Uh. 
<laughs> Becky, this is for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's got some heat to it, but you know, I kind of might have done more than I should have. You got to be careful with some of these sauces because they'll just kind of just blast right out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a hot sauce. Uh, I don't want to waste it. I'll get some good drops in there. You can't go wrong with a good breakfast burrito. Ooh, got some of that on my lips. Uh, with a good hot sauce. Got my nose running. And it's just climbing. You really have to like the taste of soup rods for this one. And you have to be able to take the heat. When they say it's very hot, this is a very hot sauce. The heat's still climbing. It's all over my tongue. I'm getting wicky, 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 getting whiskey chest from it. The flavor is good though. All of them, the flavor is good. Whew, heat wise, extreme. I'm gonna give that. It's got my nose running good. I'm gonna give that a five. That's very intense where it, it was sitting on my lips too. Be very careful with these sauces. They are hot, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. Whew, I'm gonna go blow my nose and see whether if I can't find a good dessert to put that on that I would they have at the house. I will catch you guys in the next video. Whew.